Welcome to Temper Tantrum Tim's Game Reviews. Our first review, A Boy and His Blob. So grab your controllers and your Wild Cherry Pepsi, because it's going to be a long night. The hope of the world is gone. Where do I begin? A Boy and His Blob was given to me for my ninth birthday by my deceased grandfather. May God rest his soul. But this game stinks. Here's the title screen. Now what does this remind you of? Nah. Let's get started with the game. You start off in front of your house with your blob and a backpack full of jelly beans. You feed the blob jelly beans and he turns into different shapes, such as this ladder. But don't feed him the root beer jelly bean, or this will end up happening. A rocket that chips you up to Blobolonia, the blob's home planet. Or what looks like a farm in Utah to me. You'll end up dying. Now you may be wondering, who is this game made for? I mean, just look at the box. But as you can see, I was 9 or 10 years old, and I was excited about this game. I mean, I was ecstatic. I couldn't wait to open the box. This was A Boy and His Blob by David Crane, co-founder of Activision. I was thrilled to have this game before I started it and found out what it was all about. Getting back to the jelly beans, you have quite a diverse selection of them with many different uses. Some of which you'll have to use all the time, others not as much, and still others not at all. You'll also notice that there's witty little rhymes or jokes behind what the blob turns into. <laughs> I don't get it. Huh? Another strange glitch with the ketchup jelly bean is this. You can't even use it for anything. I mean, it doesn't block any enemies. So I just set them up over here. You don't get lime or orange until the end of the game, but we'll cover that later. I also forgot to mention that the instruction manual includes grape jelly beans, which you never end up getting in the entire game. So either it's a typo, or I'm overlooking something. Also, the manual mentions that the full name of the blob is Blobbert. Now you may be thinking, who created this game? Well, it's just sort of in the title screen. David Crane, who's this guy? Yeah, I know. Anyways, let's continue with the game. And what about this really catchy song, huh? Don't even bother with the store yet, it's not open, so just make your way into the subways. You're going to come to another dead end, so just start punching holes. But watch where you punch holes, because you could come upon disaster. And how come the ladder can choose which ledge it sits on? I mean, isn't that my decision? Well, I guess not. You'll find all sorts of treasure, like this gold from Davy Jones' locker. Or oh, this pre-cut diamond. Oh yeah, and here's a little Wily e. Coyote action for you. <laughs> Not funny. Use the umbrella if you're unsure of a cliff. Although it doesn't work in the Wily e. Coyote situations. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did I mention the boy is a complete wuss? Worst game ever. And how can me or my grandfather have known that? Here's a blowtorch to get through this cobweb, and then we'll see if we can make it through the rocks. You know, the umbrella works, but it doesn't work. I hate it.
Man, I hate that song. Let's try the bubble just for kicks. What the? It's not popping? Yeah, that makes sense. What about this situation? Ooh, the rocks won't pop it. Here we'll skip all the riffraff, and you'll be making your way to underneath the sewer grate near your house where you started the game. Here's where you get your orange and lime jelly beans, but I'm going to show you a quicker way through that whole cavern sequence. Get the treasure and punch a hole here. Drop to your doom here, but it reloads because it's a checkpoint. Oh, here comes the most excitement in this entire game. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, look at that. That's no blaster. This is a blaster. 12 gauge shotgun with adjustable choke and Remington ammunition. This is a weapon from Mongoloids. This is a Vita blaster, a straw with spitballs for ammunition. And here's your holster. You might as well just grab the guy who invented this and beat the tar out of him. Now you're off to the store. You only need a thousand to get assortment one, so do just that. Now you're ready for Blobolonia, or as I like to call it, the farm, with an interesting remix of the original song. fire at the marshmallows, it'll make your life difficult. Here comes the cherry bomb part, which you'll come to realize is my absolute favorite. Watch this. Now how does this happen? Does Blobolonia change them to nuclear cherry bombs? It's unbelievable. Obviously you need your Vita Blaster for this one part in the game, but what the? It's like the Don't Taze Me guy. Now, if you haven't already guessed, this is the part in the game where you're rescuing Blobolonia from the tyranny of the Emperor's chocolate and marshmallows and popcorn. This is the dreaded candy factory! <laughs> you gotta shut off this upcoming switch. Here's all these weird teeth. <laughs> Look at all the Hershey's Kisses! <laughs> That's not how Hershey's Kisses are made. <laughs> Here's how you put a stop to those terrible Hershey's Kisses. Wait a minute. I don't see him. Oh well. This is off the beaten path. Well, it better be worth it. This kind of nonsense. Oh, what the? This is insane. One peppermint? Well, might as well get it now. Now get ready for the fight of your life with the Emperor and his evil gingerbread men. Here's the lime jelly bean to get your key, and here's the Emperor. The fat guy that doesn't attack you very much. Well, it's obvious the boy's too much of a wuss to climb over that rock, so you have to get your blob to do something drastic. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, watch out for those vitamins. Oh, man. Ooh, oh, that's gotta hurt. Wow, now I'm a somebody. I have a bunch of little white turds on a little white turd planet saluting me. So in summary, what do I give the game a boy and his blob for a rating? I give it one thumb up. Up your butt!